Hello, my super Scorpio, and welcome to your weekly energy reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, check out your love bonus if you haven't had a chance, and your abundance bonus, which is career and finance oriented. If you haven't had a chance, that is on my channel as well. Uh, if you do enjoy this, please do like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the moon readings I plan to put up next week. And uh, otherwise, let's go ahead and get in here and find out what your week is going to look like next week, shall we? All right, we don't do reversals on weekly, but we do on all of the larger bonus readings and general readings, etc. So let's see what's happening with you here, all right? Wow, looks like you've been having some strife, okay? <laughs> so um, I feel like you guys have been at it, kind of going at it. Um, possibly at work, possibly at home, but for whatever reason, I feel like you are, you know, you've been battle tired and tested right now. So, you know, I feel like you are kind of like picking up your swords, what you have left, you know, picking up the strength that you have left to kind of move on. Um, but you are, you know, kind of like, I've got to do something. I've got to change. I need to, you know, something's got to give because I cannot take this this friction anymore. And again, this, take it as it resonates for you personally, this could be a work friction. This could be a home friction. Um, but I definitely feel like there's been some, you know, definite issues here where you guys are, you know, kind of at, at throws and, you know, it could be too where, um, you know, there's a couple people, if you look at the card, they are walking away as well, or, you know, you're walking away from them. So they may have turned their back on you. You may feel like you've been jilted. You may feel like you've been um, kind of deceived or mistreated, something in that nature. Uh, so, you know, if it's a relationship, possibly somebody has done something wrong to you. Uh, if it's work, it's possibility that somebody, you know, really did uh, kind of screw you over, to be honest with you, with some regard. And you feel like, you know what, I'm better than this. I'm just going to, you know, truck on with myself, but it's been, you know, really kind of wearing on you. Okay. So I do see that you were kind of like battle tired and tested again. Like I said, um, this one, I see the five of pentacles. Okay. And this is showing me that, you know, realistically, again, you're struggling. Okay. I feel like the struggle boss is at your door. Um, you know, you are kind of feeling like you are having to carry the load, you know, of someone else, the load of the finances, the load of everything. And this may be part of this too. Um, you know, if you're having family issues, it could be budgetary. So, you know, maybe there's issues for some of you that, you know, your family is at odds. You're arguing, you know, with your significant other or what have you, because you're the one who is working, paying all the bills, you know, doing everything and they're doing nothing. They're either not pulling their weight or they're pulling their weight financially, but then they're blowing the money. They're not sticking to a budget. They're kind of, you know, being selfish with their funds. You're using your funds for family related bills or, you know, household related expenses. And they're out, you know, gambling, drinking, doing drugs, you know, uh, spending it on somebody else, their friends, partying, whatever it may be, you know, or uh, otherwise. Um, so, you know, it could be a situation like that. And that's where, you know, the pentacles here is becoming a very big issue. And you feel like you're carrying all the burden of this, right? And that's really what's caused some, some drama here. Same thing at work. If it's a work situation, again, take it how it resonates for you personally. But if this is a work strife that you've been going through, it could be that, you know, you feel like you're the one doing all the work. You're the one who's getting passed over for raises, bonuses, you know, um, promotions, and, you know, these other people because they're back here and they're best friends or they're related, it's nepotism or who, who knows who or whatever, they're getting together and they're kind of taking all the credit. They're getting the promotions, they're doing whatever. And you're the one who's doing everything, all the work. And, you know, you're carrying the load, right? You're carrying the load at work. You're carrying everybody's load, but you're not getting the recognition you deserve for it. And you're really frustrated with that. But for both sides, whether it's a work situation, a home situation, a relationship situation, I definitely feel there is massive frustration here, okay? Like you are at a, a boiling point almost, right? And it's like things are going to start spilling over if you don't get it under wraps, okay? So let's see what your last card is. Five of wands. So 
literally this is like a boiling point I feel like so I do feel like things are going to hit a point where there's going to kind of be a blowout um, you know again this may be a blowout in your home this could be a blowout with your family this could be a blowout with your friends if that's what you're fighting about you know maybe your friends are taking advantage of you you know because every time you go out every time you do anything you're sick of paying. You're the one who's paying for everybody every time. They just slide you the check where they just can't expect you to pay because maybe you make a little bit more money than they do or whatever. But you know, you're kind of like, look, I'm tired of feeling like I'm being used. It'd be nice if they would at least offer now and then or something, you know, something of that nature because I do feel like you're feeling like you're carrying the burden um, and it's financially, you know, kind of tied in there and it's, it's gonna reach a boiling point, okay? So whomever this strife is up here, it's gonna hit a full boiling point down here, okay? So I do see that that is happening, and um, let's see what the let's see what the outlook is here. Let's see first of all what your challenge card is, which sadly, you know, it seems like the whole thing's a challenge right now, um, because right now it feels like you're really frustrated. I mean, you whatever the situation is, I can like your frustration is oozing out of these cards like you're like I am so sick and tired of being the one who has to handle everything for everybody financially budgeting I'm the one who has to give up stuff while they spend or do whatever or you know I loaned such and such money and they just don't care to give it back but I see them out shopping and spending and enjoying themselves when I can't afford to do things for myself you know stuff like that you know but it's really so strength is your challenge. And I think the situation here is not that you don't have strength. I think the situation here is that you have a ton of strength, but you are not, you're not flexing it in a way that is conducive, okay? Here's my thing. I'm feeling like for most of you, the frustration is getting you, okay? So you're a very strong person and you're a very strong willed person, but you're also, for some of you, I feel like you don't really love or relish that um, conflict, okay? You don't love to confront people about things. You just want them to do the right thing, want them to know what's right, do the right thing, and you not have to you know, treat them like a two-year-old and tell them what to do, right? Should be like obvious, you're like, hello, this just should be obvious if I loan you money or if we go out 50 times and I paid 40 of them, you guys can pay once in a while. Or if I'm making money and you're making money that all my money shouldn't go to bills and all your money go to your fun stuff, you know, these kinds of common sense things, right? So I feel like, you know, you have a ton of strength, but you don't want to use it in a way that's like, okay, I need to put this out in a constructive sense and I need to address it this way um, because either one of two things, you are dealing with people who don't have rational minds and you can't get through to them or, you know, your hinting isn't working um, and you're not one to be, you know, blatant and putting things out. You're more like, I'll just try to hint at it and hopefully they'll be smart enough to understand that common sense should prevail here, hello. Um, and it's not, okay, it's just not. So what happens here is with your strength, eventually when your frustration does spill over, when it does get to you, I think that's where we have this, right? Okay, so I think um, after so many like hints or, you know, side eyes or dirty looks or, you know, comments about this or that, or, you know, something where you feel like you're dropping enough hints to where, hello people, common sense should come into play here and you should be a decent human being. There should be some sort of etiquette here and you're not showing it. Nobody's appreciating me for the way they should and I'm being used and abused here, whether it be at work, in a relationship, a friendship, whatever it may be, uh, you know, at that point, it just, you just lose, lose it. It's like, okay, well, I've given this enough time and it's a snap, okay? And this is where your fuse lights, okay? And I think it's gonna come out into a complete shh blow up, okay? Between either you and your coworkers, you and your friends, you and your significant others, your household, whatever, whoever this is, again, take it as it resonates, that you're having these issues with. So, um, 
you know, my only suggestion would be maybe be more clear with them in setting terms at this point because obviously they either have no consideration, they have no etiquette, they have no whatever, um, or you know they are oblivious to your clues and really are the kind of people who just need hit over the head and then they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that was happening and they will try to help. Um, but if not, you know, maybe this needed to happen. You know, maybe this is something that needed to happen for you. Um, maybe you needed a clearing out of people who are using and abusing you. You don't want those people around you anyway. They're not really friends. If they know good and well, they're catching on to those clues. They're hearing it. They know what they're doing and they just don't care and not making changes. If that's really what's happening, then you don't need them anyway. So this is the psychic deck. Let's see what's going on up here. If we can get some more uh, partnerships and alliances. And again, I think that's where your problems are lying here. You know, I feel like, again, you feel like a partnership should be equal, an alliance should be equal, whether it's at work, whether it's at home, whether it's best friends, whatever it is. And, you know, yours is off balance. You know, you got two people back here facing one way, you're facing another, you guys are not on the same page in any way, shape or form. And that is causing major issues. And, you know, in order to be a strong united partnership, you need to be even helping each other on even ground, right? And I think that's something that needs to be conveyed. Um, and maybe, maybe you just need to convey it more clearly if you're not, and they're not that bright with catching clues. Um, so that there is no question of ambiguity because you don't want to blow up and then find out later, well, we had no idea. Why didn't you just say something? And then you feel like, well, dang, I could have saved myself a whole lot of stress, frustration, all this and that. I just should have realized they were dumb. <laughs> and not dumb, but you get it. Like not as, not as much of a uh, intuitive maybe as you are. So, um, you know, I think that's something that you need to consider. Um, but going forward, let's see what the, this is the moon deck. Let's see what it has to say about your five of pentacles and your strength. Okay. Because on this, you know, again, I do feel like your strength is, <laughs> it's a, a blessing and a curse. Okay. Because I think you're a very strong person and you know what you'll put up with and what you won't. But sometimes you let yourself get to the point where, you get so frustrated before you, you know, convey that or will make that step that it's like explosive. So let's see, trust. Okay. Well, here again, I feel like this is something where, you know, you need to trust yourself to really decide, you know, what you will tolerate, what you won't, and to trust yourself enough to put it out there. Okay. Put it out in a way Again, that is expressing exactly what a partnership, alliance, best friends, friendships, all this should be, okay? Trust them to either understand that or maybe they do need to go, right? You do need to unleash. This does need to happen, okay? Because realistically, you know, this trust is like kind of a protection for yourself too. And again, you don't want used by people. That's not a friend. That's not a friendship. That's not anything you want to be a part of, right? So, you know, with this in mind, again, I think that you're a strong enough person. Trust your strength to say, listen, I can confront this. I'm strong enough to confront this, even though I hate to, in a way where I just flat out say to you, listen, every time we go out, you guys pass me the check. I'm sick of it. Or every time, you know, to my partner, the bills come in, I'm paying those and your money gets to be spent on fun things that you want to do and for you. And I don't get to have any extra money for my enjoyment. Okay. Cause mine's all going to the bills and that's not fair. Um, or if it's work, you know, I'm doing all the work and I'm, you know, you all are taking all the credit, the bonuses, the raises, and I, that's not how this goes. You know, if we're in this working together uh, if I'm doing extra work, I should be the one making extra money. That's, you know, that's how partnerships and alliances work. You know, these kinds of things and just flat out lay it out. Okay. And no uncertain terms. That way there's no question of ambiguity because if you have to unleash this kind of situation on somebody, you want to make sure that, you know, they were aware, they knew what was up and they'd had this coming ultimately. Okay. So let's see what your angel card is because 
Um, you know, they may want to give you some additional advice here. We have a jumper. Let's use it. Um, communication. <laughs> and I think that's the absolute ultimate thing here. Again, you know, you have to really identify what a partnership and alliance should be for these people. Trust in your strength that you can convey this and communicate this. Even if you hate confrontation, you hate to speak to somebody about things, you, you're uncomfortable as all get out having these conversations. Um, you know, you'd rather just shove it down, shove it down, shove it down until you, you know, blow up. Um, you know, I'm that kind of person. So I feel your pain here, but I, you know, sometimes you just have to do that. Um, because open communication, that is the answer here. Okay. I do think that if you do that, there, there will be a number of people who, who will understand your position. They will see where you're coming from. They will understand that. And they will want to, you know, work with you, make the change. They don't want you to feel used and abused. They aren't trying to. They're just oblivious or they just think, oh, well, you just make so much more money. I just thought it, you were fine with it. You know, those kinds of things. They really are just, you know, oblivious or they just don't have etiquette. Maybe they weren't raised with etiquette. Those kinds of things, okay? I do believe there are a number of people around you that have that, okay? Now that doesn't mean there aren't still some that are gonna be using and abusing and don't give a crap about this talk, this conversation. You could tell them till you're blue in the face how you feel about something and they're still gonna be selfish and you know try to take you for everything and try to use you for everything they can and treat you like crap at work or whatever it may be. And if they are, you know what, they have this coming and they deserve it, right? But first, give them the opportunity for some open communication, open dialogue, and then you know you've at least done your due diligence. And then after that, if you wanna unleash your strength in a form of, you know what, I'm cutting you off, that's it, I'm done with you, I've had it, that's fine. You know what? Because then you don't need those people around. You don't need people who are intentionally using you around. They're not your friends. Okay. So anyway, I hope this did help with help you or resonated with you. If it did, please do like subscribe, share all that other great stuff. And I hope to see you back soon. Bye.